Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just a little sick. I did, uh, just get back from Spain, like, less than 24 hours ago. So, well, um, wiped out. I took, like, a four-hour nap today. I slept six hours last night, and I was awake for 24 hours prior to getting any of that sleep. And then about, like, ten hours in the middle of that. So... <laughs> It has been hectic, and I didn't know my voice was going to sound like this either until I, um, until I started talking, because I'm home alone, and I had not talked to anyone. I'd only been, like, singing in my head using my non-sick voice. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to put beads into, um, boondoggle projects. Mostly square, um, just because these fit really nicely in the square. <laughs> And I'm going to show you um, what a couple of them look like. They're the little baby pony beads. Um, they're the mini size. And regular pony beads are like double the size. But um, what I like about this is that it is the like exact size of a square and circle. So they fit really nicely in there. Um, and in order to do this, you just basically need the beads and two strands of boondoggle that are the same length. Um, minimum. I mean... I guess you could do this with other um, stitches. I recommend that f just for this video, you uh, do like equal length thing, and you want to be able to do square. So you want to start square, um, and I do have a video on that, which I um, will link for you below and next to my head somewhere. Um, and I'm going to start mine right now. I'm using red and glow in the dark because that was what I grabbed first. Um, I don't know. Usually what happens. Um, if you want to do a full project, maybe I'd say start with five base stitches and then start adding beads in. I'm going to do five um, just so I have a little like place to start with. And then I can show you how to add the beads in. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I slept for four hours, and I woke up, like, in a daze, because all the lights off were off in my house, and I had no idea what time it was. I couldn't find my phone right away, but then I got a text message, so it was kind of easy to find my phone, because it went off, um, and I was just, like, in such a daze. And when I saw that it was, like, 9 o'clock, I was shocked. But then I decided to check my email, and I saw that I had YouTube notifications, and somebody asked to do this video. I also got asked to do, um, like, three or four others. I have a little list in notes on my computer, um, and, like, on the Mac notes, like, app. And, um, I'm looking at them right now. It's square with beads, um, a three by three braided circle with a wall, and then a really hard stitch. Um, that really hard stitch will eventually be put up, I promise. But, yeah. Um, if you have any other requests, you know, get them in. Um, because I am going out of town again, so you should probably ask. Also, um, if you're watching this, like, in, like, mm, middle of June 2011 or after that, um, just request, because I can still make videos, um, because I'm not, well, I might be out of town, um, or I might be busy, but I'm not, like, knowingly out of town like I am right now. Well, will be. Okay. So I have a little base of square here, and... I'm just going to try and maneuver this thing in uh, the least obstructive way possible and to get my hair out of the way. So I'm going to um, show you how to do this with a like little red bead here. Alright. And what you want to do is you want to do a square stitch. So just do your square stitch. Okay, but don't pull it tight. Just kind of let it, like, loose here. And then you want to take your bead, and I'm using a red one, and you just want to, like, place it in the project. Okay? And then you want to kind of, like, pinch it on the sides so that you have two um, strands that are the same color, like, holding on to it. Okay? Then, with your other hand and other fingers... You want to start, um, uh, let me get that. You want to start, like, tightening the project all the way around. The more you tighten it, 
the tighter, um, the more likely it'll hold. But then, um, once you get to this point where you can take your hands off and it's not going to come out, you want to just make sure you quickly retighten it and then, like, hold those strands down. And then do a second stitch over that really fast just to lock that bead into place. Um, and if it starts to loosen as you do this, it'll, like, retighten itself. And now you have a bead that is encased in there. Um, and it won't come out as easily as, like, the regular size pony beads do because these mini ones, like I said, are the perfect size to, um, fit in here. There, see how tiny that is? Yeah. <coughs> and then it's, like, the same thing with circles. So I'm going to do a couple stitches of circle. And then I will show you how to do that. I don't know, like, if any of you have ever been, like, on a school field trip to, like, another city. And then everybody takes a ton of pictures and then you get home. And they put them all on Facebook and they tag you. And every single one. And everybody has the exact same group pictures because everybody needs it. Let me just tell you this. We went on, like, 18 tours in Spain. And every tour we went on, everybody had to get the group picture that we took. It was like, one camera is fine. And then we could just tag everyone on Facebook. No, we all had to get it. And, I mean, why do I need five of the same picture? Like, five of me tagged five times. I don't understand. Like, why was that necessary? And it almost makes me mad. Okay, anyways. So now I have a square s stitch setting thing here going on. You can see that's the square. Um, I'm <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Sorry. Now I'm going to put a blue little baby pony bead in there. So you just want to do another stitch of square. Listen to I mean it. And I have the Backstreet Boys stuck in my head because that's all I listened to on the airplane yesterday. I listened to the same song for like the entire eight hour flight. Okay. So, see I have a loose circle stitch. And I'm going to put the bead inside and I'm going to pinch it with the red, and then I'm going to do another circle stitch on top of that. Um, you don't ever want to change the direction, well, unless you're planning on changing the direction. In that case, do a straight square stitch over top of that, I would say. Um, otherwise, it's going to um, keep turning in the direction that you want it to turn. Um, now, an idea for a project, I would say, would be to um, start off a square, and then put a bead in, um, and then put a bead in with a square stitch, and then after that square stitch, um, do circle, and then put the bead in, um, you know, maybe after five, seven stitches, put a bead in, um, in a square stitch, and then go back to doing circle. And um, you'll see that the circle had turned. So then do the same amount of stitches that you just did a circle, um, and then put a bead in and a square stitch. So I'm going to do a couple more circle stitches, and then I'm going to do what I just kind of said. Um, and you'll see that it, like, zigzags back and forth, um, like, between the bead. I also had earrings in this morning, and I had rings on, but, um, I took them off when I got home from school. Yeah, I had to go to school today, um... My mom made me go, and, like, my teacher went and all, but come on. Really? I don't know. So, anyways, um, you can see that I'm, like, clearly doing circle here. Um, but I'm going to do a square stitch instead of circle, because I know that it'll turn this project. Okay? I'm going to use a pink one. I'm going to place that inside. I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to start to tighten it. And that happens too. If you let go of it too quickly, it will fall out on you. So... <sighs> I really wanted to wear flip-flops today to school too, but it was so freaking cold out. Thank you, living in the Northeast. So, yeah, um, you can see that this is a square stitch. And to lock this, I'm not going to do square, I'm going to do a stitch of circle. You only want to do that one square stitch when you're putting in the bead. Um, and that's because then it'll start to rotate the other way. So, now I'm going to do um, some circle stitches, and then you'll see. 
So, I do highly recommend going to Spain, though. Um, Madrid was a bit ridiculous, and it didn't really give me the full um, feeling of Spain. You need to go to, like, a small town. Um, I was in Zamora, Salamanca, Segovia, and Toledo, um, as well as Madrid. Madrid just felt like the States. It really wasn't anything special. It felt like being in New York City, actually. Um, but the other ones, like Zamora, um, was where I was most of my trip, and it was fabulous. Um, like, honestly, it was just so cool. And, like, the best part was is that the way everybody dresses, nobody cares what anyone else thinks. And, like, they do things, and they don't care what people think about, like, what they've done. They just do whatever they want. Um, like, honestly, they just... I know that, um, if I tried to wear sneakers, um, with tights and shorts, um, not sneakers, like, little flats or whatever, my sister would probably kill me. Um, so I wear it anyways, and she has no idea. But in Spain, like, every single girl you know wears that. And it's just weird. Also, another thing, I don't know, um how, like, a lot of girls in the States are, maybe, like, in other parts of the country, I know where I live, um, being able to see a girl's underwear through her pants, um, like, through her lines, that's, like, a big no-no, I don't know how everyone else feels about it, um, and in Spain, they don't care, and you can clearly see the pattern on their underwear through their pants, too, and you're just, like, they don't care, I don't know, I don't know why, okay, so, um, now, you can see that, um, the circle, like, zigzagged around that pink bead. See how, it, like, the, it arches up one way and then arches down the other way? So that's something you could do, too. Um, so yeah, that was how to put three beads in, um, three different variations of it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and subscribe!